back in Wrestlemania season when I only had like a hundred or so subscribers so it didn't do that well and people really didn't care but now that I'm in like the 300s and I actually have people watching my videos somewhat I decided to do this video again for SummerSlam season now takeovers tomorrow SummerSlam is Sunday one of my favorite times of year so what better way to get in the mood for SummerSlam than to get fucking weird so I had to bring the squared hat back for this video because I mean I know y'all missed it I mean oh my god oh my god oh! So we are going to be reading a WWE fan fiction titled Let Them Hear It. Basically, the reader and AJ have a quickie before match and their fellow superstars hear it. I hope you enjoy. Now look, I'm not putting myself in this story. I mean, you can put yourself in the story. I'm not going to put myself in the story. How about this? We put another character named Jack Package in the story. All right. How about Jack Package and AJ Styles? So there you go. Because I'm not, I'm not about to get you know, styles clashed naked in this video. I stood in the hallway with Becky, Natty, and Charlotte. So, hold up. I got to sneeze. <laughs> oh. I stood in the hallway with Becky, Natty, and Charlotte, silently chattering about our match. The women's division had kicked off the third hour raw with a bang. And despite the fact that Natty and Becky had beaten Charlotte and I before, the act dropped when we hit the curtain to backstage, reveling in the crowd's reaction. Did you hear them, Becky? asked. Hell of a match. She punched me lightly in the arm. Hell of a match. Yes, it was. A gruff, <laughs> a gruff voice said behind us. Gallows and Anderson were walking our way. So the Good Brothers make an appearance in this. Okay, that, that makes me happier. Clad in their ring guitar, one match stood between that moment and their turn at the main event by the side of AJ, who followed behind them. Nice job out there, Luke said. He and Carl stopped to join our circle. I can't wait to see how this play plays out going forward. As he spoke, I could hear AJ's footsteps approaching. In a flash, they were by and past me. And he called out, nice work, ladies. But that wasn't all. He had squeezed my ass as he walked by. So this dude, AJ, just don't give a shit. He, he just... Getting them feels in there. I jumped a bit at his touch, admitting a quiet squeak. Natty was the only one to notice over the conversation of the others, and she shot me a questioning look. Now, of course, it's fucking Natty who always noticed some shit. I mean, you watch Total Davis, she always does some shit. And also, the main character is no longer Jack Package. We we realized this as I started reading that um, this is a woman's wrestler, so Jack Package just does not fit. I mean, if you want to keep it Jack Package, then go for it, but obviously. Just beyond her, I watched AJ turn around mid-stride, face me, and put his hand out to curl his finger upwards in a come-here motion. He jerked his thumb toward the hallway to the left of him, then abruptly turned around and disappeared, disappeared down it. A fluttering sensation ripped through my stomach, and I could feel heat creeping up my neck. I mean, it's gotta be Kane. I put my hand to my mouth to hide the smile that was staring that was starting and at the same time noticed Natty's head was turned toward where I had been looking. She went back around to stare at me. All I could do was give her a small shrug before saying excuse me guys and following AJ's path. So I feel like Natty's trying to cock block here but I think AJ about to clap some cheeks before he goes in the ring and claps cheeks. Did no one else just see that? I heard Natty say behind me. See I, I, look man Natty out here just trying to cock block. God damn, this is like an episode of Total Divas. As soon as I turned the corner, a gloved hand grabbed me by the elbow and lips pressed harshly against mine. He kissed me so hard and with such fervor that I lost my breath. I've got about 10 minutes, he said, moving his mouth across any bare skin he could find. I was gripping his vest now, trying to stay upright through the barrage of tongue and teeth that were making its way across my chest. From around the corner, I heard the voice of the group. I just left coming closer. AJ paused to look around, and right before they reached us, he opened the door behind him, pulled me through, and slammed it shut. That was not subtle, I said. To, root, to him, as I leaned against the wall, the room was dimly lit by a, by a light in the corner, and I could see it was a conference room, circular table in the middle, surrounded by chairs, and the table next to us that held a coffee machine and cups. Y'all were fucking a catering, bruh. Come on, AJ. Come on, bruh. As I began to pull his vest off, he stopped me. Instead of pulling his own tights down, so they just sat below his mouth, Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay. <clears throat> Below his now freed cock, the head of which pushed against my lower stomach. So it's about to go down in this story. Like I said, if, you know, this makes you uncomfortable, you can get your ass off the video or put your headphones in. 
He pulled the crotch of my shorts to the side. Can you get another pair of tights for under these? Yeah, I... He yanked at the thin material, ripping a hole through them. I could do nothing but stare at where his hands were. I could have taken those off. So, obviously, AJ Styles still gives zero fucks. I mean, he just ripping gear off of this lady. So, AJ, first you're fucking and catering. And then you're just ripping her damn attire? Not too sweet. We don't have time for that. He said, taking his dick in his hand, stroking it, he bent down and licked my, well, okay, um, I'm gonna use some substitutes here, all right? So, licked my cat, concentrating first on my button, before dragging his tongue down to the opening. It slid in, then, and out. Make a circle. So he stood up and raised my leg, positioning himself at the core of my heat. That should do it, I think, he said with a chuckle. He kissed me lightly. You were wet before, and I, I even had a taste. With that, he pushed himself inside me slowly. I let out a long moan as he filled me, and that's when I heard it. W wow. Oh, no way. It was Luke, and his voice sounded like it was inches outside the door. <laughs> this dude, this dude gallows. <laughs> we both froze staring at one another. What's going on? That was Dolph's voice. Oh my, we got the whole roster joining in on this. AJ leaned forward and kissed me softly and quietly and he continued his thrusts. Though they were without rhythm, he was trying too hard to not make a sound. It's okay, I whispered in his ear later if we have to. No, he said picking me up and putting me on the table nearest of us. Fuck it. So this dude AJ gotta get his nut off before this match. I mean, you're in too deep. You might as well finish. Fuck what the, the squad say. You, you Look, I've, I've not personally been there, but when you are in the middle of said act, you, you, it's like nothing else in the world matters except for your nut that you are about to bust. I leaned back as he continued to fuck me, one hand on the his shoulder while the other hand gripped the table. The coffee maker bumped its way to the edge of the table then fell. I couldn't help myself, AJ said, as a glove finger found its way to my button. His thrust never slowing. You look so fucking good in your gear. God, those bottoms barely cover that gorgeous ass, AJ says. <laughs> I was whimpering now as I felt my orgasm building. I also heard chatter outside the door. Styles? Xavier. Wonderful. Sounds like a different kind of clash is going on in there. Is she still alive? Look, this dude, Xavier, is probably the MVP of this story so far. Like... He, this is his first line in the whole story, and it's already the best thing I read from the story so far. She is, AJ growled in my ear, but I doubt she'll be walking right for a little while. He pulled out almost completely and then quickly slammed himself back in. Fuck, I cried. Well, not me. The reader. Not you. You cried. <laughs> come for me, he said, repeating the motion. I'm close. Come with me. I slightly nodded in agreement, then let my head fall back. After another stroke, his labors became buckle grunts. Fox and groan matched my own, and before long, he pulled me close to him. Now, now, now. And with that, I felt heat pulling in my... Oh. 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 The warmth and the way he moaned had, as his lips found mine pushed me over the edge. I cried out, drawing his name out as I came. Our cries trailed off and we stilled. There was even a silence outside the door. Wordlessly, he pulled out and moved his pants back up. He moved the midsection of my bottoms to cover me back up and laughed when he saw my tights now completely ripped down the leg. God damn, AJ. I smirked and looked at him, nodding my head towards the door. Those destroyed tights are the least of my problems right now. He smiled back and moved my hair out of my face before kissing my forehead. You ready for this shit storm? I swiped the straight hair from his eyes and pulled his vest straight by the opening. If not now, when? When the door opened, about a dozen faces stared back at us. We had gathered the crowd. Dean, Paige, and Foxy somehow found their way over there. The girls were smirking and most of the guys were shaking their heads. Carl started clapping and Dolph joined in. Now that's a fucking good brother right there. When, when, when your boy smashes and he comes out and you start clapping, you're a fucking good brother. Too, too sweet me. Too sweet. Thanks for the show, Carl said. You done now? Can we head out there for the other action we actually came here for? AJ laughed to put his hand on the small of my back, then kissed the top of my head. Sure, he started to walk away and slap Dean on the shoulder as he passed him. I'm kicking your ass tonight, buddy. You can be sure of it. And there you got it. There, there you have it. Fucking AJ Styles, a lame pipe in phenomenal fashion. Pun very much intended. Well, after reading that, um, my views on AJ Styles have changed slightly. Um, I don't think I can see him the same way again. I also have two of his shirts, and that makes me very much sad. But, 
congratulations for you for getting that nut off, boy. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below your, your thoughts on this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, don't hesitate to let me know. Follow me on Twitter, at X3. You can always um, ask me um, what kind of videos I should make, you know, like, you can tell me, and I'll be like, you know, that sounds like a good idea, I'll even do that. Shout out to Grace, my good friend, for um, helping me find that fan fiction for your entertainment. Also, uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends, share it with your family, share it, wait, 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 wait. I would not share this video with your family unless y'all get down like that. But, you know, share this around. Help me grow. Help the Extra Club grow. It actually is really hot in my room. I even have fucking pit stains. God damn, it's hot in here. And it was not because of that story. Y'all got me fucked up. With that being said, I'm X3 for the Extra Club. Tell you guys to eat, girl, better respect women, and also join the club.